Welcome, one and all, to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And the hot seat tonight is Corey Lawrence. All right, hello. Of course, you know the rules. You got lifelines. Are you ready to play, Corey? Yes. Then let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? For $100, Corey, here it is. Money is what color? Red, blue, green, mellow yellow. Quidget screen, you're right for one hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Complete the phrase go big or go away home small to Kermit's house. <laughs> Complete the phrase go big or go away. It's also a game on let's make a deal. You're right! For three hundred dollars, Corey. In the human body, where is your aorta? That's spelled A O R T A, by the way. That would be. Hold on, hold on. Let me give you the four choices first: your heart, your stomach, your throat, in Texas, where you left it. Yeah. Say it again, Corey. Your heart. Of course, it's in your heart. You're right for three hundred bucks. $500. Which of these is not a metal? Iron, silver, rubber, copper. Of course it's rubber. You're right for 500 bucks. $1,000, Corey. Which of the following is another word for disobedience to authorities such as law enforcement? Extermination, insubordination, Alienation, abduction. All right. Which of the following is another word for disobedience to authorities such as law enforcement? Is it extermination, insubordination, alienation, or abduction? Insubordination. You're right for one thousand dollars. Well, that was just the easy stuff. Here it is for $2,000. Take a look. In what city is the Old old North Church located? Cleveland? Atlanta? Boston? Pittsburgh? Repeat that one more time. In what city is the Old North Church located? Cleveland? Atlanta? Boston? Or Pittsburgh? Oh, I'll try to ask the audience. Alright audience, Corey needs your help. Well, 41% believe it is Boston. Okay, okay usually, usually they're, they're never wrong. wrong. They'll go, go with Boston final. Boston is right for $2,000. Here it is for 4000 Who provided the voice of the title character in the 2005 Disney animated film Chicken Little? Jesse Eisenberg Zach Braff Jason Siegel Jim Parsons I have an idea about the last short. I hate having to do it this early on, but I got it. Let's use it as a lifeline. Computer, take away two wrong answers. Jesse Eisenberg or Zach Braff? I was thinking it was him. I'm going to go with Zach Braff. That's right, Zach Braff for $4,000.
Here it is for 8,000. The R&B group All For One take their name from the iconic quote from what classic novel? There will be the three of us. Hold on, hold on. Moby Dick, Sherlock Holmes, Tom Sawyer, The Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers final. Yeah, sure, it's The Three Musketeers, come on! For $16,000, Corey. What NBA superstar is an executive producer for NBC's new game show, The Wall? LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Larry Bird, Michael Jordan. That's LeBron, LeBron James. James. Got it for 16000 For $32,000, Corey. Who provided the voice of Maui in Disney's latest animated film, Moana? Chris Rock, Ice Cube, Dwayne Johnson, Carl Weathers. That's Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Yep, it was Dwayne the Rock Johnson for $32,000. Five questions away from one million. We saw the phone friend left. Here it is for sixty-four thousand. Which of the following is an illogical holiday greeting? Happy Fourth of July. Happy New Year. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. That's right. The proper way is it is. To say it is Merry Christmas for sixty-four thousand dollars. To four away from the million, here it is for one hundred twenty-five thousand. Which of these celebrities was born exactly on Christmas Day? Sissy Spacek, Julia Roberts, Johnny Depp, Richard Gere. I've got, got no, no idea, idea so I'm gonna Now before we go to the computer phone friend, who would you like to phone in the chat for some help? Uh, <laughs> shit. Oh, I'll just try Mark. Mark? Which of these celebrities was born exactly on Christmas Day? Sissy Spacek, Julia Roberts, Johnny Depp, or, J or Richard Gere? Oh. This is a super guess, but, uh, Johnny Depp. Well, okay, what is it, Carla? Yeah, you know, you know, Car Carla says listen to her. What do you say, Corey? Alright. Uh, no, you know, no, 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 Listening to Carla just paid off! You won $125,000! You're three away from one million. Here is for a quarter million dollars. Who stars as Tom Kirkman, a lower level cabinet member who suddenly becomes president of the United States on ABC's designated survivor? Nicholas Cage, Tom Hanks, Kiefer Sutherland, John Travolta. Well, now you still have your computer phone, a friend, so. Shall we? The 
the computer phone a friend thinks it's Tom Hanks. Now what was your possible idea, Corey? I was the keeper. So you know you know you could be right. You could be right, you know. But if it is wrong, you lose ninety-three thousand. You would have been right for a quarter million dollars. Uh, no, well, but but that's okay, you're leaving here with $125,000. Give Corey a big hand. Well, that's going to wrap it up for tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. From YouTube, everyone, good night.